Hello everyone, welcome to another plugin tutorial with Hardcore Bob. Today we'll be talking about the very famous Filter Freak, another masterpiece plugin by the wonderful folks over at Sound Toys. The song I'll be using today is a song called I Had a Feelin', a song I wrote for the pop sensation Swa La La La, Tra La 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 La. Let's take a listen. I had a feeling. A sexy number. All right, so let's put a little bit of filter freak on that squirrely guitar, shall we? Now with a plugin like this, you can really just go your whole life just using the presets over here, which are just a whole bucket of fun. All right, let's see what this one is. Groove sweep a. Ooh, groove sweep a. We have some rhythmic ones. Let's see what does bacteria sound like. Will someone get in here already and clean this up? But hey, today we're going to dig into just some of the main controls of the plugin. Of course, Filter Freak is capable of a lot more than meets the eye, so we won't be going into every single little parameter, else I'll put you right to sleep and I'm sure you're just aching to get back to that splendid song you're working on. So let's talk about this little area right here. They've got these four cute little knobs here. Mix, Frequency, Resonance, and Mod. Mix, of course, that's just Filter Freak going, hey buddy. How much of me would you like? Now the frequency and resonance knobs, they work together. Just best friends they are. The frequency knob just chooses a frequency. And the resonance knob manipulates the intensity of the frequency you chose here. So there's our frequency. And here's how intense I want it. I think I like that. Now let's see what this mod knob does. So mod just sort of makes it sound like you're at the dentist. It seems to be moving around the frequency you chose. Now let's talk about what's happening down here. Down here we have our low pass filter, or pff, as I like to call it. Now the pff will reduce or remove everything above wherever this frequency is set to. You see that? It takes out all that high stuff so that it sounds as though your track is underwater if, for example, your song is about drowning or... And of course this high pass filter up here, or pff, does just the opposite. You see how that removes everything below the frequency so that it sounds like a telephone. Now let's talk about the pff. I think they're calling it band pass filter. This creates sort of a green triangle where everything outside the triangle is removed or reduced. And you can change the shape of the triangle with the resonance. Oh, isn't that fun? I could do that all day. Now don't be thrown too much by these pole numbers here. All these pole numbers mean is how steep do you want this green triangle to be? And of course the opposite of pff is burf, also known as band reject filter. The burf setting removes only the chosen frequency and keeps everything else. All right, now let's see how Filter Freak sounds on drums. Here's a part of the song that has drums. Very good. Now let's go ahead and talk about this area over here. We have attack, threshold, gain, and release. Threshold and gain simply determine how sensitive you'd like Filter Freak to be. In other words, the higher the threshold is, the louder your track needs to be before Filter Freak says, All right, Bob, let's get freaky with this filter. And the gain knob works with the threshold, very much like the way the ratio control works in a compressor. And the attack, that's just how soon do you want Filter Freak to start doing its thing. And of course, releases, how soon do you want Filter Freak to shut the heck up and leave my song alone? <sighs> now, if you hit the envelope button, you'll find all kinds of other ways to manipulate this green blob over here. This works especially well when you have the mod turned up. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. Look at that. It's going around like that, making it dance. Random makes it move kind of slower. It's nice and boring. What about LFO? Oh, that's fun!
Oh, how fun that is. And of course, here, folks, we have our input and our output. As with all plugins, the input is the volume of the track into the plugin. We manipulate it, and then the output out of the plugin. And of course, down here, you'll find this little tweak knob. Let's see what that does. Oh. Well, that's just... That's just a whole lot of things to do, isn't it? Well, perhaps we'll have to do a separate tutorial on that. But folks, this is why I love Filter Freak and why it's one of my top five favorite plugins to put on everything. So let's see what it sounds like on the whole song. <laughs> You see how that gives the track a little bit more rhythm? Listen for the difference. Here's without. And with. One more time without. And with. So there you have it, folks. That's a general overview of Filter Freak, and I hope that's been useful to you. And one other thing I'd like to mention is what I showed you today was Filter Freak 1. There is a second Filter Freak that Sound Toys made called Filter Freak 2. I chose to demonstrate Filter Freak 1 because it's a little bit simpler to use, but Filter Freak 2 is very similar. And the only primary difference here, folks, is that Filter Freak 2 allows you to have two filters going on at once, which makes for just a real kaleidoscope of possibilities. All right, well, I hope you've learned something today, and hey, come back for more plugins. And of course, folks, I myself am not a merchant for any of these plugins. I don't work for any of these companies. I just like to use these plugins and show you what I love about them. But if you would like to purchase Filter Freak, you can find the link down in the description box below. I'm having just a doozy of a time making these tutorials for you, so if you like what you see, give us a like and a subscribe and TikTok me or all that other stuff that people are doing. And of course, if there's a plugin you'd like to see tutorialed here, let me know about it in the comments below. Now go out there and make some beautiful, beautiful music of your own. And I'll see you next time here on Hardcore Bob.